Okay, it's been a while since I've been online. <laughs> oh. How is everyone all right? One of you, hello. Give us a thumbs up. Be the first one, thumbs up. Yo, yo, yo. How is everyone? I just wanted to have a quick catch up with everyone, really. I, ain't, I know I ain't been uploading a lot recently. <laughs> so I just thought I'd have a catch up with you online, uh, live. Just want to see how you all were, really. Dismiss. What? What? Hang on a minute. Oh, there you go. How's it going? How's it going, Sonny Boy? You all right? Oh no, my phone ain't charging. What's going on? Oh god. Hang on a minute. Bear with me, boys and girls. Charging? Here we go. We're in, we're in business now. We're in business. Jesus, they're all coming in. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go. How is everyone all right? Where are your vlogs starting? Oh, mate. <laughs> uh, who's that? Ryan. Ryan. I've, I've been waiting for a job to start for weeks. It's like I got there, I've done a day, and then I finished everything they had for me by the next day, and then it was like, oh, we'll be ready for Monday, come back, and, and then I went to do a garden wall, and uh, the geezer that got me to price it, as soon as I got there, it was like, oh, I need it as cheap as I can get. And he must have said the word cheap about six times. So I wasn't even gonna send him the price over, to be honest. <laughs> Where's all the fucking things gone? I wasn't even going to send him the price over and I sent it. He just looked at it. <laughs> didn't, didn't, even, didn't even reply. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm supposed to be going back to this other job on Tuesday and I'm allowed to record now. So, I'm hoping I should have some stuff for you all next week. I've, I've been like re-editing old videos and I'm too scared to upload them on YouTube because you've all fucking seen them before. <laughs> I don't get moaned at for not putting new stuff up. Ace Ventura, yeah, boy. How's that, that about? <laughs> Fucking. Looks right when I do it. I promise. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just catch it all flying in. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are we? Where are we? Uh, well, yo. Yeah. When's the next video? Hopefully Tuesday. Hopefully. A new one. Hopefully. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. 500k subs, yeah, to be honest though, it was mainly from shorts, so I'm not really that impressed with it, if I'm honest. There's still only probably 30, 40,000 people that actually watch my videos, so don't matter about the number, does it, at the end of the day? It just looks good, doesn't it? Oh, mate, this is hard work. I've not set this up very well. I'm scrolling it, like... Uh... Sapling Ryan works to Ryan up at the minute. The house builder we were working for went bump last week and they were government funded. How are you finding it at the minute? Yeah, it's a bit shit in it. But <clears throat> I'd say for the last three years, I've uh, learned to look after my money and I, I don't need to work for, you know, the Christmas period most of the time. Uh, it's, it's nice to not have to, but... When you see your money, even, even though you've got money in the bank, it's not nice to see it dwindling away and nothing coming in. I mean, I've got a little bit coming in from revenues, from um, videos and stuff, but nothing to scream about. Uh, but, yeah, it's not nice at the minute. The, uh, it's just shit, isn't it? I haven't had anything to... Uh, v Vla v Vlaspa. Mr. Vlaspa. Uh, I just haven't had anything. I've uh, been waiting for a job and it keeps getting postponed. And then you, you're like, you're waiting for it and you could be looking elsewhere, but you, it's just a bit shit. Worst time of the year. What's the worst time of the year for work? <laughs> Winter, isn't it? And summer. <laughs> Winter, summer. <laughs> I'd say most of the year, shit. Too hot, too cold, windy. Don't know why you'd want to be a bricklayer.
<laughs> Uncle Bob. All right, Uncle Bob. How you doing? I'm good. Mike, Mike Lennon, how you doing, mate? You all right? Hey, Charlie, how you been? Blah, 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 blah. I'm close to a year, to a year now. I've been laboring more than I've been on the trail. <clears throat> Hang on a minute. What's going on? Oh, I keep, I keep losing where I am. Hang on a minute. I'm there. Are you? All right, hang on. Hang on. I'm fucking... It's just like it skips loads of people. And then I'm trying to scroll back up to try and find out who I've missed. And then it pops back down. I'm getting like arm ache from trying to fucking scroll up and down here. Look, now I've just scrolled to the bottom again. Great. <laughs> Hang on. Bear with me. Still in the camper. Yeah, I'm still in the camper. Doing. Right. Hang on. Did you do that by yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't be daft. <laughs> it's too good for me. Jesus. Just about lay bricks right. Let alone do something like that. You bought any of TTB merch yet? What's TTB? Derek Finn Finlays Finlayson 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 Yeah, go for it, mate. What's the worst time? Yeah, I've already read that one. Very thin on Britain. Yeah, sorry. Well, to be honest with you, the the, the lads. It's been shit because obviously I've been trying to sort something out for the gang, but I haven't been able to. So the two boys have had to be at home and I've sort of put Tom with an old boss of mine to give him some work while I'm not. Uh, Amy's obviously just with me. So, yeah, it's not been great, to be honest. Darren Collison, can you build me a pyramid? You just about build Lego. Dave C, what's the rest of the crew up to? So the two boys have been left at home because it just is what it is, uh, which I don't like because they're good lads. And um, Tom, I went in with him for a week with my old boss to sort of introduce him, to give him some, just to let him fill in with my old boss. I just sort of said, can he jump in with you until I need him back? And he says, yeah. So he's still laying. He's still getting his... I left him my van. I've given him the van. I mean, he has to fill it up himself, but I let him use my van to get to work or get to where he's got to get to. And uh, and then I'll hopefully get something sorted. It's weather, shit weather anyway, to be honest with you. So, do you know what I mean? It's just is what it is. Might have a few houses coming up in, a few, in about a month or so, about four houses. But it's just all talk, talk, talk. So... You just don't know in this game. Tom Martin, traditional bricklayer. What hair gel do you use? I don't. I just don't wash it. <laughs> it just looks like a cow's licked it. Uh, hang on a minute. Oh, for fuck's sake. What's going on now? There you go. What hair gel do you, did you use? Did you know? What's your name on COD? What's my name on COD? I, I, I. Collison. I, I. Oi. Oh, mate, my arms are naked. Uh, anyway, smash that thumbs up button, look. You're all in here, look. 213 of you. I want to see 213 thumbs up in 10 seconds. Go! <laughs> 22. Still not 213. 20? You wankers. <laughs> thumbs down. Fuck you, thumbs down. <laughs> Missing picking you all up at three. All right, Darren. Easy. Shush. I won't be telling anyone about that shit. <laughs> Ant Cluley. All right, Ant. Cool. Thanks, Charlie. Barrel joint or a bucket handle. I like them both, to be honest. To be honest, I like them both. Bricks and blocks. Love your videos. What's your name on card? Hang on. Got a question regarding trowels. What's better, bigger London or smaller when it comes to laying a bed? <laughs> the bigger it is, the quicker you're going to damage your arm, isn't it? It's quicker, 
but it's a quicker way to put your arm in da like, damage your arm, isn't it? It's just repetitive strain on your arm, heavier material when you're moving it a thousand times a day. You know, the bigger it is, the worse it gets. So smaller for longer, but you, yeah, you'll last longer with a smaller trowel. How much to build my two-story extension at a day's for you, bruv? <laughs> Do you know what? Uh, it makes me laugh. People think, oh, you can get it done quick, so it'll be cheap. No. <laughs> uh, had work completely dried up in the UK. It has dried up a little bit, but it's just... I'm being a bit fussy, if I'm honest. I turned down a lot because... I don't want to do it and it's shit weather i just don't want to work in the shit i've i've been it's been not it's been like i'm sort of practicing retirement <laughs> just getting up going to the gym having a sauna having a steamer going for a sunbed eating loads of lovely food chilling out and then doing the same again that's what i've been doing for the last three months <laughs> trying to get a bit of work here and there but i just haven't really been bothered if i'm honest Do I watch any other bricklaying channels on YouTube? Yeah, I like uh, Changi's all right. I like watching Changi. He's all right sometimes. He's got. He seems to have got a bit better recently. He had a little bit of a bad spell, in my opinion, um, but he seems to be a bit better these days to watch. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind uh, some of it. You know, uh, what's his name? Harry's all right, but sort of. He could do with changing it up a little bit. It's sort of like stuck at one point for ages. I watched his new one. He sort of like just had it recording on one wall for ages and it just it gets a bit boring. But, you know, I usually like listening to him. He's a nice lad. And then uh, you got Steve and Alex. They're good to watch. Always doing different things, isn't they? They're good to watch. <clears throat> the bigger the trail, the smaller the... Are you still going to the gym, fella? Yeah, boy. Pop my nose, weights. That's what she said. <laughs> Where's Hector? He's with my ex. She sort of looks after him at the minute. I haven't really, I can't really have him in the van. I mean, I'm at my granddad's, sort of keeping him company. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Hang on, let me get through these messages a sec. I'm a bit lost. Jim's going all right, though. Uh, I've been for about six weeks every... I sort of... With the gym, it's like... I've, I've really... Now I'm not working as much. I'm really starting to learn about my body a bit more with the gym. It's nice, you know, because if, if I go every day, I can just feel my body draining itself. And it is... You, with work as well, you don't realise how much... When you, go, when you do a day's graft and you do a hard day's graft and then you go to the gym after and you do a hard gym session, you go to work the next day and you'll be tired at work and you'll sort of, and, you'll, and if you go and do another gym session, you're gonna be fucked by Wednesday. So I've, I've said to myself with the gym, if I'm working, I'm not going to the gym. And if, it, if I work all week, I'll try and get in on a Friday uh, or even a Saturday morning and a Sunday and I'll just have to try and smash out everything over two days. So the gym's going all right though, cheers. Did you ever get used to them glass jointers? Never got one in the end, mate. Show your home. <laughs> it's, not, it's not much to show, mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm showing you most of it. <laughs> it's only got a front and a back. Prince, I learned to pick and dip from you. Good man. TTB is a knob. Oi, none of that language on here, please. All right. This is a... Best. Yeah. You ever do boxing again? Ah, you're all right. If it's in the state of my nose, if it gets hit again, I'll be in trouble. Steve and Alex are doing live as well. Are they? <laughs> Pop back and say hello from me. Never mind about me. How's Amy doing? Yeah, Amy's doing all right. She's itching to get work. 
So, you know, she's she's getting on at me now. She's, uh, she, she's getting on at me to get back to work. I've actually been really enjoying having my time off. Um, but I'm sort of, I'm, I'm getting bored of not working, but I'm also enjoying not working. So it's kind of like... But yeah, I've I've been um, I tell you what I have been doing. I've been emailing a few groundworking companies um, because I'm getting fed up with the unorganisation of other people when it comes to building houses. It is just it is so fucking stressful to get to work and some cunt ain't ordered the lintels in or they ain't you know <laughs> filled up the silo so you can't do mix and mix. So I think. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm, I've, I've emailed a few uh, companies directly for footings. Um, I might just do one site or something, like try and get like 50 footings for over the summer or something and just smash it out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. Most money in one week on the price. Honestly, mate, don't know. And I don't really care. To be honest with you, uh, I've never, you can sit there and say you earn this or you earn that. It doesn't matter really because at the end of the day, the next day, you could go, you could go in and earn 800 quid one day and then go in the next day and earn nothing and that suddenly dropped it down to £400 a day. So, you know, or you could earn nothing all week and then do one day and it's worked out £200 a day, even though you've worked, you've earned a fortune on one, there's just no point in trying to guess what a bricklayer earns at all, because every single person is completely different. There is not one bricklayer on this planet right now that is earning the same as another bricklayer. Unless they're on day work and they do the exact same days every single day, which I highly doubt, then you ain't going to get no bricklayer that earns the same. You'll get ones that, are, you'll get ones that earn fuck all because they're shit, You'll get ones that earn pretty good because they're good and you'll get some that earn a lot of money because they're cream of the crop. And then you'll get the next bunch of people that sub work out and they might even still do bricklaying themselves. So they've got other people making their money for them. Do you know what I mean? So it, who earns what? Who knows? And who cares? All right, hang on. I have, a, I have a waffle on and then I lose everyone. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, we're back here, I think. Tains Valley Group got some decent videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually like a few of their videos, actually. Yeah. He can't lay a thousand bricks, so bless him. <laughs> Love you, really, if you're watching. There you go. Build your own home. No rush. No rush to build my own home yet. Oh, Izzy's good. Yeah, sorry, Izzy's good. I like Izzy. How long should you be a hog carrier for? <laughs> so, fuck that. What do you want to be a hog carrier for? <laughs> I'm only joking. Just do what you got to do, mate. You just try and get off of it. Stay on it. Some people love it. Some people don't. Some people go onto the trail and don't prefer being on the hod. Yeah, the old nose took a few, mate. <laughs> you weren't a bad boxer, though. I weren't very good either. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes Amy. Look. Hello, Amy. I'm not working at the minute, Ben. Spec mix. <sighs> I'm trying to get something sorted. I, I'm, I keep messaging them, and they, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that. Am I hiring new guys? No, nah. no, nah, I'm not hiring anyone new. Uh, I do want to try and get the gang back together soon, though. Um, how much do you make off YouTube? Pfft, not a lot. <laughs> it's not about subscribers, it's about views. And I don't really get that many views on f YouTube. I get a lot more. If I put a video up on YouTube, I'll get usually about 20 to 30,000, maybe 40. And if I put the same video up on Facebook, I'm looking at more 120 to to 200,000 of views. So I'm earning more off Facebook than I am off YouTube, if I'm honest. And I've got less subscribers on Facebook, but I earn more from Facebook. 
because it's not about the subscribers, it's about what the views you're getting, basically. And it's, it's weird because, oh, I don't know, I don't even know. <laughs> Hello, Steve. How are you all doing? I'm a Britty last week. I earned 17.30, so taking just over 13. That could go in the next week, and I'll earn 800. It's a hit and miss each week, depending on what needs doing, weather, etc. Yeah, to be honest, if anyone's here thinking what's the most you can earn and what's the best way to earn it, it is in footings. It's hard graft, and you'll be in bits if you do it for more than a couple of years, but you, you can easily do two grand a week in footings if you want to kill yourself off pretty quick but you can also earn that in supers if you know what you're doing but it's less likely that it'll run that smooth as it will in footings because in footings you literally just need blocks and bricks and a few lintels and some vents uh and you've got and you literally build it up and you move on to the next one so that's why a lot of people do footings you know i, I don't blame them but when are you taking me under your wing for a day? Brick lads, oi, shut up. I thought I was going to come and do a day with you, knob. <laughs> you come show me how the old boys work, you know what I mean? Best advice for a young apprentice, find another job. <laughs> Can I do plumbing? <laughs> No, I'm only joking. If you want to do brick laying, just, you just got to stick at it. Try and stay away from drinking drugs because it will hold you back. Uh, even where are we? I I tell you what, right? I messaged Rob. I messaged. I messaged quite a few people, but I don't know if it's taking me serious or not. But they all pied me right off. <laughs> Fuck off. I reckon, I reckon they didn't want me to come there and fucking show them up. That's what it was. That's why I'll fucking, you know. Show them right up. <laughs> Come on, let's say a thousand. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I, I messaged, well, I messaged Harry. I messaged Rob Song. Rob Song did say yes, to be fair. Uh, but I, I was sort of waiting to see if he sort of asked me again. Um, I think I asked Alex and Steve. I'm pretty sure I did. And I, I asked, uh, what was his fucking name? Mahoney. I asked Mahoney. Uh, because obviously I haven't been doing anything. I thought, oh, what a great opportunity to go around and see the YouTubers and that. But I don't know if they're just not working as much either or it's a bit tight. Do you know what I mean? It's Everything's a bit, you know, up in who are, isn't it? La, 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 la. Where am I? Where am I? What do you think of Tricky? What do I think of Tricky Bricky? <laughs> He's crazy, isn't he? He's a bit nuts. He's all right. He's a good lad at art. <laughs> I used to work with him, didn't I? Taught him everything I knew. Learn a lot. Would I do boxing again? No. <laughs> Any more punches to this nose, I'll be, I'll be look like even more like Rudolph. What's all the other lads doing at the moment? Uh, I have said, I don't know if he's were thingy but I they're just not working at the minute. Tom is. I put Tom with one of my old bosses just to keep him in work for a bit. Um and just left him with my van. Uh and that's it, yeah. The two lads are just sitting around waiting. I did tell him, I said to him, look, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get you back, but um if you go, don't feel like you can't find another job. Go find yourself something else. And if and if I find some work and I can get you to come back, or you, you know, I, I said, you know, they, I don't mind if they go and get work elsewhere. I mean, at the end of the day, they've got to look after number one. But it'd be nice if I, I would like them to get some work for themselves while they're waiting. Do you know what I mean? I don't want them waiting around for me. But it'd be nice if when I do get some enough work to get them back, that I can sort of get them back because they're good, good two lads. Um, you know, Tom is obviously. To come back, you fucking better come back. 
and uh, yeah. <sighs> Brick lads, Andy. Yeah, nah, it's, yeah, I know what it's like at the minute, mate. It's all a bit scritchy, scratchy, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's is what it is, but you know, if you want me to come show you how it's done, let me know. <laughs> Why don't you finish any of the one-off builds? Well, why do you think I don't finish? I'll tell you what, if I ain't busy tomorrow, do you want me to go and visit a few sites that I've finished? Because I'm one of them, I'm just like, get on to the next one, off I go, do you know what I mean? It's not... And the f... there has been a couple that I have walked off of, yeah, 100%. But when you're getting messed about with money, I, I'm, not, I'm not tied to anyone with money. I don't need money... So if someone starts fucking me about, I'm off skis. I ain't, you know, oh, he's got fucking few grand on me. I better finish it. Do you know what I mean? If I, st if I get the slightest inkling of someone's taking the piss or someone ain't going to pay me, I'm off skis. Fucking fuck that. I ain't no mug to no one. The best brickies are called Andy. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to go, you know, do a bit with uh, Robbie Boy. Mr. Start, why aren't you working? They're still in the van. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm not explaining again. It's been about a fifth time. Just scroll back, you'll find it. Billy Bunter. Blake's or normal box section? Well, I like both. For different situations, really. I like them both. I'll, I'll just switch it up just because I can. <laughs> and I get bored of one or the other. Sometimes I like to change it to the other. Sometimes I like to change it back. Um, Blake's Blake's is more first lift and third lifts. Uh, well, it's more first lifts. <laughs> you, you get so much fucking about with a fucking um, scaffold. It does your nothing, so you end up just sticking a bit of box section up, didn't you? But, you know, hey-ho. Is 200 a day wage on the books for a bricket good for a bricket? Yeah, it ain't bad, is it? I don't think that's bad. You know, you got to t weigh into account. How much do you need the money? Do you need the money? Are you desperate? Are you one of these people that spend everything you get? Or can you get by on 200 pound a day, no stress, just turn up to work? Or you're someone that goes like fuck, earns loads of money, but then spunks it all and then he's stressed out of fuck because they've got no money. Do you know what I mean? It's not about what you earn at work. It's what you do outside of work that really defines what you actually need at work, doesn't it? It's not, it's not really like, oh, how much can you earn at work? That's what actually, that actually makes me laugh um, when everyone keeps saying, oh, how much do you earn? How much do you earn? It really does not matter what you earn. It matters about how you spend that money when you get it. Because if, if, you know, you can earn all the fucking money in the world, and if you're going to spunk it all, if you're going to spunk all that money <laughs> and leave yourself with bills to pay and all that and you're no good with money, it don't matter what you earn, does it, at the end of the day? Just fucking look after your money. It don't matter if you can go to work on day work and chill the fuck out, can't you? You know, let me know what you think. Am I chatting shit? Got to go in a minute. So, get you. You should charge in Bitcoin. Oh, do you know what? I couldn't give a fuck about Bitcoin. I don't really care about anything like that. I really don't care about money at all. I just It's just a means to live. That is what it is to me. It's not my God. Money is not my God. Money is just what I need to put food in my mouth. And then apart from that, I don't really spend it. I buy the odd nice thing for myself, not a lot. And it just sits there. Um, I pay myself minimum wage. like, And I don't even spend that. Is 150 a good for a 19-year-old? Look, 
19 years old. If you if this, if you're 19, right? Don't worry about your money. Yes, that's good money for a 19 year old. I certainly won't get that. I was getting about 50 quid a day. But don't worry about your money. Worry about learning your job. <laughs> don't worry about the money. You're 19. You're probably living at home. No money. No nothing to pay out. Just learn your fucking job and stop worrying about the money because it can get bitter. You know. Oh, he's. You know, he's on. Ten pound a day more than me, and I'm quicker than him. It's just, you know, it's the way the world works. I'm afraid. Why work five days if you can manage on three? Do you know what? <laughs> You're mad at my own heart. I, I, I get bored if I don't work. Like I, I can only do so long with you know gym in it and Aqua Springs in it and chilling out before I do start to get itchy feet. Aunt Clooney. Yeah, fucking right, mate. Fucking right, geese. <clears throat> cool, mate. Oh. Oh. What's going on? All right. So who's in the gang now? <laughs> Me and Amy at the minute. Tommy's working with me old boss at the minute. Sparky Gaz. Yeah, you're right, mate. You are. But I also like to go to work on price and not be told what hours I can do, what hours I have to do. I hate being on price. Day I, I would rather go to work and earn £100 on price than go in on £200 a day and be told, you've got to work till four. Your break is this time. You do this. You do that. I would rather go to work on price and just plod along at my own pace and not have anyone breathing down my neck because they think that they own you when you're on day work. I don't think, and when you're on price, no one gives a fuck about you because they're not losing out. You're not losing, you, you know, you're only getting paid for what you do then, ain't you? So that's why I like price work. Do you find it easy finding park ups in the van? Uh, to be honest, I've been staying in my granddad's. Um, outside my granddad's because he's been a bit lonely, bless him, and obviously my nan passed away and that. And it's been nice just to be here. Like, I haven't been working, so it's been nice to spend some time with him. I sort of drive him around and, you know, just spend a bit more time with him and that. And it's been quite nice, actually, to get to see him again properly because obviously I've been working away a lot and that. And uh, just weren't, you know, because I... Yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> Yeah, Dad's all right. He's all right. He's just doing his own bits and bobs. He's a man of leisure, my old man. Man of leisure. He knows how to live. <laughs> Certainly knows how to live. <laughs> Are you still intermittent fasting like a Kenyan? I have days where I do. I have days where I don't. Some days I fast, some days I don't. Sometimes I'm healthy, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I eat shit, sometimes I eat good. I'm just like anyone else, really. Any tips on what to do with your money when you're young? Learn how to save it. It's going to... I didn't learn how to save my money till I was about 30. I spunked all my money all the time till I was about 30, and that was only four years ago. It... I'm not saying save all your money, but just learn to just not spend it all. It's, it, it's, it, you know when you've, you've learned how to save and you've learned how to stop caring about money, it's when you stop looking in your bank account. That's when, you know... <laughs> but uh, my, my, honestly, I, I would like to say this though. When you're young, don't think that going out, getting out on a piss and all that is what being young's about young is like when you're your strongest fittest most able to learn and get things done and everyone tells you things like yeah go out and have a laugh and get lashed up yeah that, if i could go back in time now i would literally be teetotal and i would never have drunk ever um it's all a load of bullshit so you you're never going to save money if you're doing drinking drugs either so if you get that if you get your drinking and 
doing, if you like your weed or your coke or anything like that, it, your money's just going to go. So learn how to like not do, <laughs> eat well, go to the gym and work hard and your money will just top up. If you don't, and you go out and you're getting pissed up and you're spending it on drinking drugs and all this and all that, your money's just going to disappear straight away. Every week, you'll be living week to week and you won't have any money. You'll be waiting for your next bit of money to go in the bank. You'll probably be borrowing money or family. Um, so learn learn not to do, not learn to live your life properly and the money will just be there. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's about your life. It's not about you know, how well you can save your money because no one can save money if they're getting on it all the time. No one. So look, learn to look after yourself and uh, your money will be fine. Don't do debt. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell, tell you what, when I was about 20, when I first went on price, I was about, where was I? was about 10, 15, 10, 10, 12 years ago. I was about 23. I just bang straight into the bank, 25 grand loan, BMW, yeah, bosh, fight as the bollocks. Two years later, I ain't even got the motor and I'm still, I'm still paying it off. <laughs> Fucking, what a tosser. But, you know, you learn the hard way, don't you? <laughs> if you don't have the money for it, don't fucking get it. You know, we live in a world where they make you feel like you need to buy everything. You need to have the best car. You need to have the best phone. Blah, 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 blah. You don't. You fucking don't. It's consumerism. Blah, 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 blah. Consumerism. I'm not bothered about a house. It's just fucking... Do you know what, right? I've bought this van. I live in this van at the minute. I don't pay any... I mean, I give some money to my granddad to help him out. <clears throat> but, you know, if I wasn't here, I literally pay no rent. I pay no electric. I pay £20 for the... I've paid... I've bought three bottles of gas at £25 a pop um, since I've had this for, like, nine months to cook food in. Uh it heats up through the diesel heater and I do about 100 quid a week in fuel if I'm driving about in it. So I'm, do, I'm basically, I've got my home, I'm living in this and, you know, and I love it. I, I couldn't give a fuck. I'm not bothered about big spaces and all this and all that. So I, I literally, I'm spending nothing. I'm, I'm doing like 100 quid a week in fuel and then obviously buying my food. I get all my electric. Um, if my electric dies, I'll just turn the engine on for 10, 10, 15 minutes and my leisure battery's full again and the lights are all on for the next three hours. So I'm not bothered about a house. I'm not bothered about paying rent. I'm not, I'm not bothered about getting a mortgage. I'm not bothered about getting myself in debt. So I don't know when it's going to happen. I, you know, if anything, I'll just keep banking it. And if I, if I get enough altogether, I'm, I'll just get it all, build it all myself and pay for it all myself. Where are we? Hang on, I'm lost again. Uh, Dutch try to. I have finance used to get. Pissed, had car, and was skint, you learn. I've learned I'm not bothered till April. I'm picky about jobs now, footings the way forward. F uh, jobs now, footings the way forward. Yeah, nice one. And you're a man of my own heart. Yeah, I've seen Izzy Derek. I use the 11 Philadelphia. That's exactly the trail I used for years. Uh, I use the 9 London, if I'm honest, the 33.9. Lovely little trowel. Do plenty with it. Cod time, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, anyway, anyway, been a pleasure. Uh, hopefully, I should have some footage this week. I'm hoping. The site agent was a bit funny about doing some editing, and he sort of said, uh, well, you'll have to wait, and uh, I've got a funny feeling I might not still be able to. I don't know, but... If I can't record on this site, then 
you know, I'm subbing off for someone because at the minute, <clears throat> I'm just, I can't be bothered. Do you know, I've priced a few jobs up and everyone's like, oh, we need it cheap, cheap, cheap. It's like, no, I just won't do it. If you want cheap, go find someone cheap. I'm not cheap. <laughs> if, it's, if it's my own work and you want it done nicely, then pay for it. Do you know what I mean? It's Everyone wants it for a fucking quick, quick, quick. Uh, and they're the ones that gain from it, not me. You know what I mean? They're the ones that sell the house or whatever and make the profit and they don't want to pay out of their pocket. Collision. No, it's not collision, you nutter. It's co collision. S-O-N, not S-I-O-N. Collision. <laughs> Right, anyway, Brick and Block Solutions. Let's go and have a game of COD, shall we? It's I-I-I-C-O-L-L-I-S-O-N-I-I. -I -I -I. <laughs> right, anyway, good to see you all. Smash that thumbs up before you go, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Can I press thumbs up myself? No. Come on. Nah. All right, someone press it for me. See you later.